Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on inequalities. And I want to start off with some properties of inequalities. So we're going to start off with knowing that we have four real numbers. That just means numbers that are on the number line, A, B, C, and D. And um, let's start off with saying uh, A is less than B. So if a is less than B, and B is less than C. So we have like 1, 2, and 3, or negative 100, 0, and positive 100. Just three numbers, A, B, and C. So if A is less than, a is less than B and B is less than C, then just for notation, in math, I don't use a lot of math symbols, but I do love the fact that that arrow means then. Then, A is less than C. Cut out that middle B. Uh, so if A is, less than, A is less than B and B is less than C, then A is less than C. So now we have two addition inequalities. The first one says, if A is less than B, so again, you know, negative 100 and zero, and this time, we're gonna say C is less than D. So we're bringing in that D. This could be like one, two, three, four, but it also could be like zero, 10, five, 15. There's no relation between A and B and C and D. It's just that A is less than B and C is less than D. Then A plus C is less than B plus D. This looks a lot like A is less than B, C is less than D, add down, A plus C is less than B plus D. That's, that's what's going on here. We're just literally just lining them up, adding down. Okay, next, addition of a constant. If A is less than B, then a plus C is less than B plus C. This is something we use all the time. If you think about at, um, any equation you've ever dealt with, this is just saying like if zero is less than 10, you can add five to both sides and five is less than 15. It's just You can add a constant to both sides and it's still an equality. This last one is the important one. Everything else we've done, is based on stuff you know that you've done in equalities. It's based on things you're comfortable with and you really do understand. This last one is the one that makes inequalities different than equalities, makes things different and unique. Multiplication. Okay, so you're multiplying by a constant C. If C is greater than zero, then nothing is different. If A is greater than B, then A times C is greater than B times C. This is exactly what we are used to. There is nothing different there. But here is the big thing that makes it different. If C is less than zero, If A is greater than B, then, I don't know why I suddenly switched from greater than to less than, then this should be less than. I'm sorry for that. Then A times C is greater than B times C. Let me show you an example of this. So three is less than 10. C is equal to negative seven. So if we multiply three times negative seven, 10 times negative seven, we need to flip the inequality over. So negative 21 is greater than negative 70. So if you multiply by a negative, then the inequality flips over. So that's what it's saying. If you multiply 
by a negative multiplier divide. Then flip the inequality over. That's what that last statement is saying. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.